Welcome back to the MGH United Road to Glory, guys. Today we're kicking off with Man City away from home at the Etihad Stadium. We then have Fulham. We're going back to Craven Cottage for the first time since leaving. And then we have Burnley away from home. And then we're just three games away from January. And in January, we will be making one big signing. I've identified a position in the team that I know I need to upgrade. I'm going to go for a young-ish player that's still, I, th I want to say is at least 75 rated, something like that, maybe 77, 78, that still has time to blossom because I don't want to get rid of Zambo yet. But basically, Zambo, he's 30 years old now, so I do need to look to the future and bring someone in. Uh, side note, I now have fiber internet. Hopefully, everything works well today, and it's working by the time I go to upload this. It's been a bit up and down so far, but it does mean I can up the quality of the videos because it won't take me 10 hours to upload anymore. I can probably upload a much higher definition video like that. So I'm very, very excited. Hopefully, the video looks good for you guys. I'm so happy. Honestly, six years I've been waiting for this moment. We bought this house. They said, yep, yeah, fiber will be there. We moved in, no fiber. We had to go with the relatively okay copper speeds, the copper line. Um, and I've been dealing with basically four megabits upload speed. I now have a thousand megabits. It's insane. So I'm really hoping it's going to be working. And anyway, let's get into the first game of this episode. Man City at the Etihad. A win here will keep us in the top eight. A loss here could allow Southampton or Wolves to catch up a little bit if, they, if they're to win their games. You see that player on the left side there? Hey Zeus, could you join Arsenal please? That would be awesome. Although I've heard that we're linked with Scamacca as well. Sc Scamacca? I don't know how you say his name, the Italian striker. Anyway, I always end up talking about Arsenal. Let's talk about MGH United. What do I do with the team here? Obviously, we're going to play Palmer against his old team. Uh, I don't want to change the defence at all. Hmm. I don't want to start Nketiah. He has been useless recently. I guess we'll just leave it as it is. I just feel bad for Joyce because every time he's played recently, he's done pretty well. But if I'm putting Joyce in, he'd have to go up front with Theo on the right if I was to drop Staunton. I think I'll leave it for now, but maybe in the second half, we move Theo over to that right side and we put Joyce up top. He can easily play as a striker. It's just his shooting isn't as good as it could be. And Ketty has got 81 shooting. Theo's got 86, I believe. Yeah, so it's not the best, but it should be more than good enough. So we'll give this a go for now. I love how I'm debating how I'm going to set up to win this game when we all know I'm about to get smashed. It's Man City. They're such a good team. But you never know. We, we do tend to do better against the better teams, the, the higher rated teams. So maybe we'll get lucky today. All right. Here we go then. Who have they got? Palaverse. Never heard of Palaversa. Um, Jesus is on the right side. They've got Vitinha in the middle. Who's that in central midfield? Lindstrom. Okay. They've got some very interesting players in there. Grealish. I think a lot of people will recognize that name. A hundred million pounds and he didn't really do anything last season, did he? Anyway, come on then. First attack of the game. Look at this. Zambo pushing forward. Let's see if I can get something going. That's going to be a red card. He's gone. Oh, wow. You are one lucky guy, Braderich. He should potentially be getting a red card for that. And we're pretty far out. I don't think I can have a shot here. So you know what that means, guys. I think we pass it. And here is Zambo. And hit it. Go on! Oh my god. He has scored an absolute wonder goal recently. But maybe not with his weaker foot. And against Edison. I think that's unlikely. Oh, I've lost it. That's not good. Who is this Palaversa guy, anyway? Could be a, a regen or a new gen. A player that's just incredible rate. Uh, incredible potential. Oh, he's here again. Here is Vitinha. <sighs> Bramley turn has to make the save. Did I call him Vitinio earlier? I meant Vitinha. V v Vitinha? Good player. Very good player. I saw his stats. He's kind of like, you know, one of the really well-rounded midfielders. And here he is. Deflected straight to the keeper. Love that. Let's just say I'm glad they don't have Haaland up front. 
God, next season's going to be interesting, isn't it? Man City with Haaland and Alvarez, that young Argentinian player. He looks very good. Here goes Palmer, a player we stole from them. We've got a run being made by Hackford. Over the top. Oh, my God. No, Edison's just so good, isn't he? He's just quick off his line. He knows where to be. And where is Spence going? Yeah, just leave a gap in behind for Grealish. Why not? Here goes Hickey. On the right side for Spence. Both wing-backs getting forward. What a ball. Get there. That's still yours. Why are you letting that bounce? Okay, that should be a corner. It's come off Diaz. Do you know what? We've been the better team so far. Very pleased about this. Staunton whips it in and it's headed out. Can I win this back with Theo? I think so. No, okay. I was hoping Diallo would run for that one, but he didn't. Let's keep this going. Oh my God, why have I just done that? Okay, well, 32 minutes in and City are yet to really look that dangerous. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, I'm not happy about that though. That is such a suicidal pass. Oh, wow. I got lucky. Lucky that Bramley Turner plays for us. What a goalkeeper. Here's Grealish now. Yeah, read that like a book. And now Zambo runs forward. Go on, Staunton. Just get in behind. Yes. Okay, we need runners. Theo is getting forward. Oh, I don't think we can cross it, though. Play it back. Any more help? Diallo here. Oh, and just like that. Look at all the blue shirts that have got back. Oh, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> come on, Zambo. Yes. Okay, we get to go again here. Palmer forward to Hackford. Over to Theo. Yes. Go on, Theo. Just hit it. Go on. Oh, just wide of the post there. We look more dangerous. We look like the team that are going to score. But now Grealish is in again. Slide. What a tackle. What a tackle from Wheatley. That is how you stop a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. At least I think if he gets through Wheatley, maybe Burton could have got back in time. But either way, as I've said a few times now, we are definitely the team on top. I'm hoping in the second half we'll get a goal because we deserve it. Oh, God. Yeah, here we go. Oh, guess who's there again? It's Superman himself. That was just unreal. He's just so quick, isn't he? Great save. Two incredible goalkeepers on display today. Here come Man City again. Can Theo get this? That's offside. No? Okay. Play on. That's definitely offside. Let's quickly play this forward. Down this left side. Where's Hackford? We need to do a 1-2 with Theo here. Nice. Where's the overlap? Do I even need him? I don't think I need him. Get out of my way. Staunton's made a run on the right side, but I think I just hit this. Oh, and Edison saves it. Theo can run. He can shift. What a runner he is. And here he is on the end of the cross. Nope. Comes out for Diallo. Yet to score a worldie for us. Oh, my God. Edison saves the day again. It's coming, guys. 100%. We will score very soon. Maybe now. Hackford into Staunton. Over for Zambo. Hit it. And guess what, guys? It's yet another save. <laughs> it's never ending. I think we're going to make the change now. Um, do you know what? I'm going to take off Hackford. And I'm going to bring on Joyce. And I think it's time for Garbit as well. I'm going to take off Zambo. Uh, is, am, 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 am I going to regret this? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I've got two pretty attacking midfielders. Against City, I might regret this, but Garbit's going to get us a goal. All right, he just will. Corner coming in. Header. Come on, Wheatley. No. You are so much better than that in the air. What was that? If only it was Burton. Oh, I've missed the tackle. In fact, I've got his ankle instead of the ball. Palmer, against a former teammate, just violated him. Assaulted him. Cross coming in from Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that would have been horrific if we conceded there. They still could get on the attack. Here's Grealish into Lindstrom, and we'll take that. Okay, 18 minutes to play. Plenty of time to still score. And actually, we could be on the break here. Put that over the top. No, wrong pass. City getting back very quickly there. I don't think I've got the ball. 
to Joyce once. And here's Rodri. <sighs> I just, I, I get a bad feeling, guys. I feel like they're going to score. Who else is coming on now? I don't know who that is. He's going to score, though, isn't he? <laughs> okay, it, it, I think he's a defensive player because he's... Actually, no, if he was a, defense, a defensive player, he'd probably be in the box, wouldn't he? He could be a wing back. He did come on for uh, for their left back, I think that was. Braderich. Anyway, they're, they're going to score. I, I told you, I knew it. I just knew it. Who are you ringing? Who are you calling? Hopefully, Mikel to join Arsenal. <laughs> I would love Jesus at Arsenal. I really would. But he has potentially killed us off here. I can't believe this. This will be it. Our last chance. Go on. Oh, garb it. He's going to get there. Pen! Red card. Send him off. I can't believe it. Oh, now they're going to get another one, aren't they? Oh, okay. One last chance. Let's go. Staunton, good first touch. Still going here. Poking it through for Joyce. His first touch on the ball. Back into the box. And it's not a good cross. Oh, I can't believe this. Well, we won't be in the top eight anymore. Well, we might be. Let's hope that the other teams didn't win either, but... The likelihood is we are now going to be slipping, slipping further down the table. By the way, before I forget to mention, I do say it most Mondays. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page. I still post every single weekday at 9 p.m. over on Facebook. At the moment, it's a mixture of F1, FIFA. The new F1 game comes out in a couple of weeks and I just got a VR headset so I can do some VR content. I think I'm going to do some other games for the next few weeks until that comes out. So please do check out the Facebook. I'd really appreciate it. There is obviously a lot less viewers out on there. So if there's anyone watching this and you want more content from me, 9pm Facebook video every single weekday, 7pm on YouTube, 9pm on Facebook. So please do check it out. Uh, so we actually do stay in eighth because Wolves have not won their game and Southampton have not won their game. Actually... I think Southampton just haven't played yet, but Leicester haven't either. Neither of West Ham. Potentially, they could drop points. Are they going to, though? Probably not. Ooh, okay. So Leicester up to sixth now. West Ham with 26 points. Okay, it's, it's not all bad. Okay, let's travel back to our second home. Craven Cottage was a fantastic stadium for us. We won a lot of games there. And wait, we're playing at home. <laughs> I thought it was an away game. God damn it. I got so excited to go back there. Well, we'll, we'll, we will be going back to Craven Cottage later on in the season. I guess it's a good thing we're at home. Maybe we'll actually get a win here. Uh, I am going to start Joyce this time. And I'm going to change formation for it. I want two up top. I'm feeling Hackford and Joyce up front. I haven't done that before. I just, I just want to. So we're going to go with a... 442 flat. Do you know what? Again, I'm just going to try it out. We're going to drop Palmer for this one. And we're going to drop Theo. So Joyce is going to go up front with Hackford. He's got a five-star weak foot, so we'll put him on his weaker side. If I convert him to a center forward, he gets a plus four. And a right forward, he gets plus four. Okay, so we'll just go center forward. Staunton on the right as a right winger. Palmer, oops. Uh, I will go with... Who should play on the left side? We could go with Lasala. I've quite enjoyed using him on the left side. It, it works. And then we've got Zambo and Diallo. I might go with... I could go with Lacey. Or should I throw in Zach Steele for a game? I'm going to put Steele on the bench and start Lacey. And we'll give Diallo a little bit of a break as well. Okay. Let's do that. Right wing back. Plus five. Oof. Hickey, plus three. He's still, I guess, not quite there with his sharpness. He's got more sharpness than Spence. Why has he got less boost of a rating? I don't know, whatever. It's a really good side either way. I reckon Joyce and Hackford are going to get some goals here. I just changed Hackford to a left forward and he got a plus five as well. So even better. It's a cool system. I like the bonus ratings for playing them in their proper positions and stuff, but it does make things a little bit easier. To give a player such an incredible boost of stats just because they're playing in the right position can be a bit much. So I'm hoping they kind of reduce it a bit. I mean, 
I remember in season two, I had, you know, like 68 rated players with a plus seven. That, that puts them into like the championship quality level of players. It's just a bit much at times, isn't it? Oh, Staunton. He's won the ball. Early on here, we could be getting the opening goal. Joyce over to Hackford, who's gone a little bit wide here. And that's killed it. Maybe I should have hit it first time. Oh, oh my. Right. Okay. That's how you score. Um, with a simple pass from one player to another on the last line of the, def the defense. It was easy and I made it look so difficult. <laughs> look at this. Into one of their forward players. Just knock it in front. Goal. Why did Joyce's pass go so far wide? That could work. Oh. oh, it almost did work. But here come Fulham again. I'm missing Diallo. That defensive rock, you know. Nice. Slide. Yes, Wheatley. Let's go. Joyce and Hackford. This time I need you to combine a little bit better. That's nice. I think I just run here, don't I? Use the pace. Across the keeper. I aimed it top left. Come on, Hackford. He's got to hit that at least into the top corner on the left side. It wasn't even close to the left side. What a run. I see you. Oh my God, Joyce, you are having a nightmare. What was that pass? What's wrong with Joyce? He's having a really bad game. I'm not going to take him off though, because it's only 30 minutes in and I bet you he's going to score, isn't he? Just not having a good game. Pop that over the top. Oh, Lacey. What a pass. Come on, Lasala. In for Hackford. Yes. Yes. Oh, what a save from Rossi. Okay, then. Corner coming in from Staunton. Burton's there. Burton scores again from a corner. It's absolutely undeniable. And what's the other word I'm looking for? It's almost a guarantee. Un un unavoidable. Thank you, Matt. You genius. You came up with the word so quickly. Well done. <laughs> Look at this, though. You just don't stop that unless you're actually brave on the line there. That defender was terrified, it seems. He stepped back and allowed the ball to go in. Rubbish defending. Right, now that we've got one goal in, I reckon we'll get a couple. Hopefully, anyway, because if we can't beat Fulham at home, a, a team in the relegation zone, then I might as well just say goodbye to the top eight straight away because it, it just ain't going to happen. Put it over the top again. Go on, Lasala. Yes. Go, 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 go. I think you have to go alone, mate. Finish it. Why are you hitting it with your left? This game's dumb. It's, go it, it's just dumb. This game is dumb. I've purposefully shifted it over onto his right foot to then shoot. And he goes with his left. Honestly. Oh, no. Not before half time. <gasps> Did he just save that? How? That's the best save. Oh, it's come off his ribs. It is lucky, but it is one of the best saves. That is a guaranteed goal, but it's not guaranteed because it didn't go in. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, and there he is again. <laughs> Someone just give him player of the season, the player of this season award already. Like, who else is going to win it? He is that good. Just so good. That could be a red, you know. I think it might be. Are we going to be saying goodbye to one of Fulham's players here? No. Not even a yellow. Wow. Go on, Lacey. Go on. Lace it. <laughs> okay. Not quite what we wanted there. Lasala. Into Staunton. Turns. Passes it to Ferreras. That's what I was looking to do. Pure skill. Why am I sitting so deep here? I do not like that. That gives me flashbacks to season one where I conceded like five every game. Horrible. My whole defense just sat back. Okay, here we go. Joyce. Pass it over the top. Nice. That's what we needed. Zambo. Up against his old team. That could have been his moment. That could have been the winning goal. Oh, no. I've completely missed it with Spence. Just don't concede here. 
because I will score. I feel it. 35 minutes to go. We will score. It's not even 35, Matt. Good maths. 25 minutes to go. Right, we've got it. Nice. Back into Zambo. Yes. First time shot. It's deflected in. It's not going to be Zambo's goal, but it might as well be. That is how we're going to win this game, I guess, with a bit of luck. And it's against his old team. I'm surprised it's celebrated like that. I thought he would do the respect celebration, but clearly Fuller means nothing to this man. Was that going in, though? That's the question. I've got a feeling this might have been going wide. Yeah. What a touch from the defender, by the way. Can we get a close-up of that? He's kind of back heel flicked it. Who was it? Ferreras. Oh, dear. Let's have a look then. This is one of the best flicks I've ever seen. Can confirm this was going wide. But then Ferreras, he's like, do you know what? I want the Puskas Awards. <laughs> so it's come off the defender. He's flicked it onto the midfielder's leg. Or I don't know if he's a midfielder. I think he is. He's very unlucky that's gone in. It could have easily gone over. Wow, we did get lucky. 15 minutes to go. I should probably make a change, but do you know what? I'll do it when the ball goes out. I reckon we can get the ball back here. Go up and kill the game. Get that third. Let's go. Come on, Hickey. Pass that inside. Okay, Lasala, you going to make a run for me on the left? No? Okay, we'll just go inside with Lacey instead. Here we go. It's a good run, this. Go on. Still going here. Okay. Well, if we're up here, they're not going to score. So I'm quite happy just to keep the ball here. But I would love to go and get another one. Staunton into the box now. We'll take a corner. That's fine. Guess who's going to come up? The mighty Geordie Burton on the end of this, please. Oh, it's going to Zambo instead. Oh, and Zambo could have scored. That would have been his goal for sure. But he puts it wide. But there's no time left. This is a win for sure. Nailed it, guys. Totally didn't get lucky and <laughs> just a deserved win for sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a big one. We needed that. And we are now up to sick. That is a lot better. And we've sold Paul. He will be leaving. 1.3 million. Okay, right. Um, because the fiber installation took quite a while this morning, I've actually ran out of time, guys. I, Even though I can upload quicker now... It's almost 6 p.m., so I should really get this uploading. Uh, so apologies for cutting this one a little bit shorter. What I will do, though, is show you some players that I'm looking to potentially bring in in January. I want to bring in a central midfielder. We have Moda. I think that's how you say this. I think he's a Brighton player, but he's uh, he's moved to Everton in this career mode. Could be a very good option for us. We have Lucas from Monaco. Also could be quite good. I'm scouting him at the moment. We have Jacob Ramsey, who has moved to Spain to play with Getafe. Could be a great option for us in midfield. But also, I have found Reggie Stevens. He plays for Liverpool. He is one of those all-rounders. If you look at all his stats, they're all 70-ish, aren't they? So maybe his rating is going to be around that 74 to 78 mark. But he had exciting prospect to his name so I know this guy means business he is going to be a good player so I don't know how much he'll cost I don't know if they would even listen to any offers but we might go in for Reggie Stevens who plays for Liverpool at the moment he could be Zambo's replacement we will have to wait and see but um yeah apologies for not getting another game done guys we'll be back tomorrow uh, where we, we should be able to get to the transfer window. And uh, now I get to test upload speed for the first time. I'm hoping this video just goes... Zoop. Obviously, it won't be that quick if I'm rendering in much higher quality. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.